Effective tomorrow, a litre of 87 and 90 gasoline will sell for $1.50 more. The increase brings both prices to the highest they have been in six months. Automotive diesel is costing $2.43 more, while ultra-low sulfur diesel is up $2.19. Kerosene will cost $2.53 more. Now, propane will see an, a slight decrease of $0.33, cents, while butane is costing $0.05 cents more. And oil prices held firm today. Oil for delivery in June settled at $65.78 a barrel. Highly irresponsible. That's how the, chief, the IMF mission chief, Dr. Uma Ramakrishnan, describes the call being made by PSOJ President Howard Mitchell for the price of the Jamaican dollar to be set against the U.S. currency. Dr. Ramakrishnan rejected the idea, claiming that such a drastic move would require Jamaica to abandon its monetary policy framework. TVJ's Andrew Laidley reports. I am calling for the Jamaican dollar to be pegged to the U.S. currency. That call made by the president of the private sector organization of Jamaica, Howard Mitchell, last week, as he offered a solution he believes will make it easier to do business in Jamaica by fixing the value of the local currency against the U.S. dollar. However, the International Monetary Fund on Wednesday said doing that is easier said than done. IMF Mission Chief to Jamaica Dr. Uma Ramakrishnan calls Mr. Mitchell's suggestion baseless and incomprehensive. Talking about pegging an exchange rate um, without providing the necessary arguments and the necessary framework under which such a framework would work, I think is highly irresponsible. Uh, because, you know, Jamaica has come a long way in uh, adopting a flexible exchange rate. Flexible exchange rate has been in place for decades now. So to, to discuss a fixed exchange rate without discussing, you know, what should go with it, I think is not a right approach. Dr. Ramakrishnan says the country would be exposed to greater risks if the exchange rate was fixed as it was up to the beginning of the 90s. She also noted that the net international reserves currently at over 3 billion US dollars would need to be significantly higher to accommodate a fixed exchange rate. Her representative in Jamaica, Dr. Constant Longkenguana, adds that the economy, which is still in recovery mode, is not strong enough to sustain a fixed exchange rate. The issue is that you would need a lot of fiscal room, which Jamaica currently doesn't have, because we're still talking about a debt at around 98%, which is very high, and sustaining a peg in that environment would be very, very, very challenging. Andrew Laidley, TVJ News. Meanwhile, the Jamaican dollar continued to slide today. Currency trading ended with the greenback selling for $134.40. The Canadian dollar sold for $101.22. The pound is now going for $173.39, while the euro is going for $147.93. The JSE index lost 864 points today, while the junior market index gained 10 points. Stocks posting gains today include... Cygnus Credit Investment USD Shares, Jamaica Producers Group, 1834 Investments, Main Event Entertainment Group, and Stanley Motor. Now on the losing side were Fosrich, T-Tech, Jamaican Tees, Indies Pharma, and Sagicor Group. That's the business day. I'm Herman Green. Good evening.